Hey hikers, Andy here, one of the co-founders. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, time for our monthly update. So um, yeah, just running through all of the features uh, and updates that we've made over the last few weeks. And there's more in the email that we've sent as well, so have a look through there. But I'm gonna take you through the key ones. Um, and there's one really big update this month, which we're particularly excited um, to announce and very proud of. So when we launched Hike, which is three years ago, um, we obviously, we always had the keyword research tool, we call it keyword ideas. And over the, few, over the three years, we've made incremental improvements, but it needed a complete redesign from a UI point of view, and also from a functionality point of view. You know, we had lots of feedback that we collected over those three years, and we've really implemented it all into a brand new design. So as you can see here, we've updated it. Um, so it looks, first thing you guys should know is that it just looks a lot cleaner, a lot more modern, a lot fresh, and hopefully a lot easier to use as well. And we've introduced some new, new areas to it. So on the left here, this is how that you're gonna populate your keyword table where you can find your keywords and add them to your basket. So there's two ways that you can do it. As before, you can add in a seed keyword. So really simply, add in a keyword phrase there, click add keyword, and then the platform's gonna go away and find data for, for that phrase, but also phrases that are more long tail that mention the word or the words from that initial seed keyword. And you obviously have the ability to show more, show less. So for our customers that have a lot of searches, which could take up a lot of space before, and it pushes the keywords down, because it's now on the left, it's gonna be kind of concatenated there, or yeah, kind of truncated, I think probably a better word doing that there, and then it doesn't impact your ability to, to go through the keyword results. And then another way now that you can do is you can add competitors directly in here, so you don't have to add them into the competition section um, and then be unable to filter them. So you can add in a website, oh, let me move my face out of the way. You can add in a website directly in here and it will pull through those keywords. So let me show you it in action. Uh, so if we go over here, you can uh, click someone. Yeah, so you can click on these at any point and actually filter the results. So, and then if you pop over here, you've got the keyword, the source, search volume, and this was a big bit of feedback we have. We've now got difficulty instead of priority. So if, if you remember from before, we had something called priority, which was a clever metric, but almost too clever. It looked at the strength of your website, the competition for the keyword, and the search volume, and tried to do some, some complex kind of calculating to work out what was the priority of that keyword, which wasn't always the best. But the feedback we got from our customers was like, hey, we, we already know what the search volume is. We know for a new website, we know what we can or can't go for. Let us make that decision. Just tell us the difficulty. So you'll see now that um, you'll have a difficulty score. And there'll be four, it'll be put into four buckets. So you've got uh, low difficulty, medium difficulty, uh, hard and very hard. Um, it might be high and very high. <laughs> uh, we'll see surely. Uh, yeah, so you've got those. So now you can have a look through and you can, you can spot some keywords that have got a good search on you, but maybe an, a, an easier type difficulty. Or vice versa, you can see keywords that have a low search volume, but actually you've got high difficulty, so you don't really want to go for those. So really, really helpful, should, should really help you guys. Um, and also this search box. Now I love using this, I, I always recommend people use this. Add in as many seed keywords as you can, add in as many competitors as you can. So for example, if I clear this filter, and then I just want to see the keywords that Moz have got, for example, I can look through here, and then I can filter through. So I can look for all the keywords that Moz have got, the mention the word SEO, for example, I can filter that. But actually what I like to do is clear all filters, um, change that. So now I'm searching through a big bucket of keywords, keywords that are from my seed keyword ideas and keywords from the competitors, and now I can find everything that's related. So I, I want to find a keyword around software, for example. What's the best keyword that mentions software? I put it in here, and now I'm getting keywords that came from my keywords, my seed keywords, keywords that come from competitors, keywords that come from my ranked keywords, and I can go, okay, well, this is the best keyword to go for. This is the best keyword to go for. You know, whether it's your own website, your client's website, whoever you're working on. And then it's really helpful. Another thing I really like, just from a design point of view, um, if you click this plus button, it highlights a nice kind of purple glow that goes around the chosen keywords. Um, other features still there, add negative keywords. You can bulk add keywords. We'll give you assistance on what competitors to pick there as well if you're struggling. And then if you click on here, what this will do now is it will show you, there's two steps to this. Okay, let me move my face out of the way. You've got step one, which is confirm, um, have a look at what changes you made. So this is a new keyword that I added. And then let's say I want to remove this one, right? A lot of the feedback we were getting previously was when you deleted something or add it, it wasn't clear what you deleted and add it before you press save. So now there's two steps. You click next and now you can confirm. So this is a keyword that you're going to remove and it's already been signed. So maybe that's something you need to think about. And then this is the, the, a new one that you want added. 
So before you press save, you've got that full visibility in terms of, um, yeah, in terms of what you're adding and what you're removing from the basket. Cool. So that's, that's the new keyword ideas. Please have a play. Give us some feedback. You know, we love it, but yeah, let's go. Let's know what you guys think. Right. Next, the report builder. Let me just refresh this. So this isn't anything, a huge update, but what we have introduced, you can see here, um, let me delete this because I want to kind of show you it from scratch. We've introduced a few new widgets, um, which is really nice. We've got some feedback saying that there's parts of the platform that weren't able to be brought through into the reports, whereas now we've done the final few bits. So everything in the platform now can be pulled through as a widget. So I'm just going to build the widget here, even though it's on the first. I've used the SEO expert template that everyone has access to. Now if I click add widget, backlinks. So the first one is, it will now show, because Hike tracks your domain authority over time, so this is the, the strength of your domain based on the quality and quantity of your backlinks. Because it tracks it over time, your scores over months, you can now actually um, bring that into the report and show a line chart over time saying, you know, started at two, then it went to three, four, five, you know, and report on your domain authority increases or decreases over time, right? So that's really nice. But one I want to show you is competition. So under competition now, we have the competition part of Hike where you can add in your competitors, get keyword stats and backlink stats and compare them against yourself. You can now pull these through into the reports. So a keyword stats table and a backlink stats. So if I click on this, it pulls it through. And if I go into edit, I can choose what competitors. So it's a maximum of three that you can choose. So if you've got more than three competitors, you can come into here um, and you can add or remove which ones that you want to do. Uh, so that's to do um, with keywords. But then also you can do the same for Backlink stats, which we push down there, obviously, just because of the style. Let me move that there so we can show them. Yeah, there. Great. So it also showed the backlink stats. So your website versus your versus your competitors. So you can keep on top of how you're competing against your competitors every time you run the report. It will pull through the data that's from the competition section. So yeah, that's really exciting. Have a play with that. Let us know how you guys get on with that. Next, let me think here. I don't think this is the right page. Um, right, bear me one second. Okay, so one of the things that we've uh, we've rolled out, just improvements to the inspect page. So this is a really great page um, to go to. For any page, you can click this inspect button and you get all the data. So crawl data, all the actions, all the keywords they rank for, the content wizard, all the backlinks to that page, all the inbound, outbound. Now the reason I'm going through this so quickly is because the update that we made is speed. We've updated this so it the developers know, maybe something to do with JavaScript, but something that really speeds up this page. So if you're using it now, it's much quicker than it was before. Um, we'd iron out some bugs on there as well. Another great feature I think people are gonna love is you now have the ability. So some of your images are missing alt text. Let's say for some reason you, you can't do that action, right? You're like, I don't wanna do that action. Now it's on all of your pages. What you can actually do now is next to this hide action button, you can click hide all actions of this type. So if, if Hike has now got this action across maybe 50 of your pages, but you can't update them for whatever reason, previously you'd have had to hide 50 individual actions. Now you can hide all actions of this type. So you can hide just this one, or you can hide all actions of this type, um, and then it saves you having to manually go in and hide them all. So that was something that was really, request, so really requested, so hopefully the guys are gonna find it really helpful. And then finally, oh, we've already gone through that, which is the inspect element page. So yeah, there are all the updates. I think the biggest one, the one we, we kind of want uh, most amount of feedback on, uh, feedback on is this new keyword ideas page. Um, have a play with it. It's one thing I didn't mention, and Kieran will kill me for, is the speed. So it is phenomenally faster um, than the old one. It's built, again, I don't know the language, it's built in JavaScript this time, um, and it's, it's phenomenal in speed. You know, you add in a keyword, it brings it back. You add in the competitor, the data is pretty much uh, immediate, and we can we can we can cope with volume more, much more volume in terms of keywords now without it slowing it down. So, yeah, have a play. Let us know your thoughts, and um, yeah, have a great day. Bye, everyone.